Well, it just stopped raining. been raining for a long time. Pouring rain, man. Look at that. Jeez. Finally. Twenty-four hours later, no load yet. Time to go to pilot and get a nice little shower. Yeah, my left front tire looks like the what's it called? There you go. I got the left front one that was leaking. I got it up a little higher because I know it's slow and slowly leaking. I think it might be a valve stem, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to take, check that out. If you guys do want something more hands-on, I would recommend this. They sell some that go straight up like this, and then it's like a round, just a round edge right there that you put on the tire. Make sure it has this little, you know, this little angle there it looks like the base base of a bullet. Also, make sure it goes up to the right tire pressure. Because I bought some that only went up to like 50. So it was basically useless. Made it to the truck stop. Obviously, since I filled up my tires. So now I gotta go take a shower and clean up this horrific mess in the van. What's new? Got my shower, feel a little more refreshed, still no load, I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't get anything today, I'll probably wait tomorrow also. But I gotta be at the airport on Tuesday, so. Not a good week. Not a good week. I'd rather be at home right now, working on the vans. I'm gonna go inside, get some work done, and check back in a little bit. Got off from the pickup. Didn't really get that much footage, but that lady just about broke my van the way she was rocking it. Hate that. Hate that when people do that. There's some people that they're just really, really good at running a forklift, which is about, sadly, I would say probably five to ten percent of people know how to run a forklift <laughs> which is ridiculous okay 10 percent 10 percent i'd say 10 percent the rest of them they can do the job which obviously they're hired and they're performing where they need to there was probably in two years i probably only met three people three or four people where i was like man you got it going on 
One was this Mexican guy in Laredo. He's just zipping, just zoo, zoo, zoo. crazy. I was like, yeah, this is what I want to see. You know, just perfect, just not ramming against the freaking van, causing my van to have a seizure. What's up, guys? I got a load. It's going to New York. Basically, New York City, Long Island. Yeah, I think it's Long Island. Happy to get a load, not too thrilled about going to New York City because of I mean, all the tolls. The tolls suck. Might spend like, who knows, I spent a hundred bucks just getting to New York. Regardless, I'm gonna get a load, get there. Hopefully get something from there because if not, I'll have to drive empty all the way back to Tennessee area. o'clock in the morning just stopped at a rest area here in Pennsylvania I'm gonna make a straight shot to New York because I don't want to I don't want to end up uh, in the traffic in New York City so you guys know all about that I'm sure and you guys driven up there so straight shot no rest because you guys know I'm driving 60 mile an hour which I'm gonna get that fixed I'm gonna get that fixed but yeah about three hours left. I'm um, feeling pretty good. So let's do this. in New York City, but I still got an hour left. An hour left in New York City. Woo! It's a fun place to drive, isn't it? another load I've already picked up a while ago I think the sleep is starting to get to me it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon I got a load to Indiana from New Jersey basically right across the George Washington Bridge and the shop that I wanted to go to is two hours from my delivery so I gotta think about make some decisions but can't make any decisions until I get some rest, so yeah. <laughs> 